Hey, is that you, Nifosa? Yeah, yeah, it's me, yeah. Hey, it's so nice to speak to you. My name's Manisha. We're so happy to be in touch with you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'd love to ask you, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling about the prize? I'm really happy about it, of course. And uh, But I was, um, even if I'd been a kind of uh, candidate, or how to put it, I, I've been used to, to, to be high on the betting list and so on. And so I didn't expect to win it. Then yes, I, I was into into the speculation. So, so I, I was uh, honestly surprised when I, when I learned uh, I was uh, was told by that I, I would get it this year. Yeah. So it came to you as quite a shock. How did you find out about it? It was uh, my small phone. phone yeah. And I understand, were you driving at the time? Is that correct? Yeah, I was driving. Yeah. So um, you you always get nervous, of course, uh, before such a decision is to be taken. It, it could be you, it might be you, and uh, to drive alo- alone, it's relaxing for me. Uh, so uh, on, on country roads, on uh, on peaceful roads, uh, I, I know in the western part of Norway. So uh, so I was driving along the fjord here. Uh, close to where I, I live by now. Oh, that sounds beautiful. What a beautiful place, a picturesque place to receive such wonderful news. Yeah, it was. And of course, I, I was, uh, I felt really happy. Uh, uh, my first reaction was to be feel happy. And then uh, I started to be surprised. And then I even started to, can this be, be real? Uh, uh, yeah feeling of uh, lack of reality <laughs> how, how, how to put it okay. and then uh, Mats Mount told me that he, he, if I didn't believe it I could I could watch the television or watch the announcement on, on my Mac or, or something and yeah. yeah How have you spent your first day as a laureate? How has it been for you? My Norwegian publisher has tried to organize a, a, a kind of system if it happens so and I went to, to meet the press and um, a lot turned up. I don't know how they knew it, but uh, for some they knew it. So it, it took quite a while to do to do these interviews. And uh, and when I came back home, I I had uh, hundreds of uh, emails. People are very kind to me. They write beautiful stories uh, about my writing to me, and and are, are honestly happy uh, for me getting the prize. So so it, I try to. To answer each and every one about it, so uh, it's, it's an enormous uh, re- response, I think, and it's difficult to cope with it. So to, uh, of course, to answer that many uh, emails or messages, uh, it takes quite a lot of time. I can imagine, but as some of these messages from readers, it sounds like it must be quite wonderful to get yeah, messages from, from readers. readers. And I uh, just read a, a very touching email. It was from a Greek woman who, who told me that uh, my play Death Variations, uh, that was the reason she was still alive. <laughs> Otherwise, she would have parted. It was very touching to read. Yeah. yeah, it must be really incredible to hear such words from people and feel like your work has touched people in that way and it's had such a powerful impact yeah, on people's lives. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a play about suicide. Mm. And she, of course, uh, yeah, she must have been very close to committing suicide. Obviously, your output is very varied. You've written plays and poetries and novels. Um, for somebody who's just being introduced to your work, would you recommend a particular piece that they start with? Yeah, I think... Um, one of my favorite novels, uh, I think, is Morning and Night. But then uh, it's, it's translated into Swedish uh, and English and uh, uh, many languages. So, um, and it's rather short. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess I would suggest that. Um, is there something that you kind of particularly think about when you write, or is there something that writing especially means to you, like? that it's very important in your life or you find it to be a good way to express your feelings or what you're thinking about? No, I don't try to express anything. And uh, uh, I often say it's like I don't try to express myself. I try to 
get away from myself by writing, mm. to escape from myself, L like like drinking or whatever you do to get away from yourself. So, uh, it's it's not a way to express myself. Mm. But uh, uh, and when writing, I feel that I, I enter a, a new, another universe, another place. Uh, I change place, I change mood. I, um, yeah, it's the same with whatever I write. And then, and then to manage to write well, that's, that's the greatest happiness in life to me. When, I, when it's, uh, something is writing itself and I, yeah, I, I know, I know that I'm writing well. Or you forget about time. You are completely into what you are writing. So in this state of being in, completely into the writing and the writing is writing itself. That's that's a great thing for me. That sounds wonderful. Do you have a message that you would give to aspiring writers, people who kind of look up to you or think? Yeah, that I have. You 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 must stick to yourself. You must listen to yourself, to your inner voice, and not to others. Um, when I my first uh, uh, books were published and my first play was based and produced. The, 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 Reviews, they were almost really, really bad. I decided not to listen to it, but to listen to myself, uh, to, to what I knew was uh, good writing. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to call us and speak with us. Yes, uh, of um, course. Yeah. What, what are you planning to do for the rest of your day or the rest of this week? Tomorrow I'm... I'm I have to drive from Bergen to Oslo, mm -hmm. and uh, and my intention is at least to to answer uh, all of the people who have uh, written to me. There, there are so many. Yeah, so, I think that's going to keep you busy for a while now. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I spent already many many hours on doing that. So thank you so much for chatting to us. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. And yeah, congratulations yeah. again. And thank you and bye bye. 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 If you enjoyed hearing this call, don't miss our bonus episode where Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and we go behind the scenes from these very special moments. Find it on Acast or wherever you listen to podcasts.